hello in this video we will uh, study the more uh, features of uh, matrix first of all i will explain you what is the normal form of matrix suppose uh, a is uh, a, any matrix uh, of which determinant of a is not zero so this matrix a can be converted by elementary transformation i means you can transform the row and column by elementary transformation and convert this a in this form means i r 0 0 0 what is the meaning of this i r is the unit matrix of r means whatever um, r is the means rank suppose a is of rank 2 then uh, then i r is the unit matrix of order 2 if a is having rank 3 then ir is i3 means a unit matrix of order 3 so by doing the row elementary transformation means uh, by convert by transforming row and column um if you perform all the task ultimately you will get a matrix in this form this this form is called normal form of matrix so this is the normal form of matrix a so you can notate here this is n so n is the normal form of matrix a how i got this matrix just by elementary trans transformation of row and column you will get this now i will discuss about the consistency of systems of linear equation suppose you have a set of uh, uh, linear equation here is the example suppose this is the equation first equation 2x plus 3y plus 3l is equal to 9 and this is the second equation similarly there are many equations you want to check whether the this is consistent or not means uh, the exact value of x y and l can it will uh, be satisfy all equation or not your aim is to find this and so uh, is is there is any unique solution which uh, satisfy all the equations whether it uh, all these equations are consistent or not so how can you find this this is a um, there is a very easy process for this using matrix method what you need to do is that you um, first of all you write the equations in this form and then then make the two matrix the first matrix is the coefficient matrix a where uh, write down all the coefficients of uh, all the all the equations so like uh, 2 3 nine, 3 and 5 uh, 2 6 and so on 9 16 14 so this is a matrix a means matrix of coefficient and now the this is the first matrix and make another matrix k what is this just add one more column of the coefficient of the equations mean 9 14 or um, all this means right side of um, variables right side constant put this in the last column of a and you will get the another another matrix k so the k will be 2 3 3 and last column is 9 9 similarly 5 2 6 6 and last column is 14 9 14 and similarly last row is 9 16 14 and 13 So you have got two matrix A and K. Okay. Where A is the matrix of the coefficients and K is just uh, found K is found by adding one column of the constant of right side of the equations. So you have got two matrix A and K. Now find out the rank of A and K. 
um, the rank may be different, may be same. So you are required to find out the find the rank of A and K. And I have already explained you how to calculate the rank. You have got the all the values of matrix, all the element of the matrix. You can find out the rank easily. Now there will be two situation. First situation may be rank of A is equal to rank of K, and the second situation will be rank of A is not is equal to rank of K. So first when uh, rank of A is not is equal to rank of K then this is certain that uh, the all the equations written above is inconsistent means rank of A and rank of K is not same then this all the equations are inconsistent you will not get any values of x y and or all other variables which can satisfy all the equations so remember this to get the solution you first required the first required condition is rank of a and rank of k should be same so in this situation no solution So now um, we have only one situation where in the first situation where rank of A is equal to rank of K. There is also uh, there is also two situation in this. Means rank of A suppose rank of A is R rank is R K. This is equal R and R K are equal but if it is equal to the number of the variables means n then you will get the unique solution unique unique number of solution unique solution of unique solution for all the variables if this is the first and the second is if r is equal to r k but if the rank is smaller than the number of variables then you will get infinite number of infinite number of solution so remember this the first condition is to get the unique to get the solution first condition is that rank of a and rank of k should be equal if the um these two are not equal then there will be no solution if rank of a and rank of k are same and the uh, both the ranks is equal to the unique uh, number of uh, variables then you will get the unique solution if rank of a and rank of k is same but it is smaller than the values of the variables then you will get the infinite number of solutions you just remember that there may be questions asked based on this rule here one more thing is to be remembered k is a uh, this k matrix is also known as augmented matrix that's a uh, you have to remember now uh, i will explain you about uh, what is orthogonal matrix so uh, it is a type of matrix this is a property means uh, this is a type of matrix uh, this type of matrix if you multiply the transpose uh, of that matrix you will get the unit matrix unit matrix i so if a is orthogonal matrix then a or dom into uh, a dash is uh, i where i dash is the transpose of matrix a and i is the unit matrix another important thing uh, you have to rem remember is that uh, suppose uh, a is a matrix uh, which consists of uh, vectors 
and uh, in this vectors suppose a uh, art this uh, x1 x2 and xr are linearly independent vectors so um, it can be anything and x k and rest all the others vectors are dependent means linearly dependent on uh, x1 to xr then the rank in this situation the rank uh, will be our rank of the matrix a of matrix a okay what i mean to say is that a is a consists of vectors where x1 to xr are linearly independent and rest uh, vectors are linearly dependent on other x1 to xr vectors then this a is a is having a rank will be equal to r so uh, you can uh, say in a positive way also if a, if a, a, a is a matrix uh, x1 uh, or a is a matrix of rank r and it consists of a vector so uh, then the r number of vectors will have a linear the r number of vector will be linear uh, linearly independent and rest of the vectors will be linearly dependent on x1 to xr so do you remember this this questions can be asked in the gate exam